Pandemics, or global epidemics of influenza, have occurred for hundreds of years. There were three pandemics during the 20th century. They occurred in 1918, 1957, and 1968. The 1918 pandemic took the largest toll, causing an estimated 50 million deaths worldwide. The first pandemic of the 21st century began in 2009. But how does a pandemic occur? Influenza A viruses vary slightly from year to year, a phenomenon called antigenic drift. These small variations are the reason why the vaccine must be updated every flu season. Influenza A viruses also can undergo dramatic genetic changes called antigenic shift that may cause a new influenza strain to which we have little to no immunity. If this strain spreads easily among people, it may cause a pandemic. The immune system targets two proteins on the surface of influenza A viruses, hemagglutinin and neuraminidase. Hemagglutinin has 16 confirmed subtypes of proteins. Neuraminidase has nine. From these protein combinations, scientists name influenza viruses. For example, an H5N1 virus contains hemagglutinin subtype 5 and neuraminidase subtype 1. Antigenic shift can occur when two different influenza A viruses circulating in the environment infect and multiply inside the same cell. While inside the cell, these parent viruses can exchange or reassort genetic material and create a new virus. Through reassortment of the eight gene segments of each virus, there are theoretically 256 possible virus combinations. Pandemic viruses also can emerge in other ways. Among these is adaptation. Scientists believe that the 2009 H1N1 virus was the product of two influenza A viruses that were circulating in pigs. The viruses are thought to have reassorted and adapted to create a new virus capable of infecting people. If an emerging virus transmits efficiently from person to person, it would be a challenge for scientists to produce an effective vaccine fast enough to limit its spread. That is particularly true with the amount of international travel that occurs today. In a matter of hours, one person infected with a new form of influenza can spread the virus to people in another part of the world. The National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases and other research institutions around the globe are working to find better ways to prevent, diagnose, and treat pandemic influenza. These efforts include testing new drug and vaccine concepts, studying flu viruses in animals and humans, and documenting factors that could lead to the emergence of strains with pandemic potential. The aims of these projects are to help health officials quickly detect an emerging influenza A virus and implement measures that bring the outbreak under control.